Hey guys, Kevin here. Over the last week, I've done some videos about the release of the Bitmain Antminer Z9 Mini. This is a, an ASIC miner that can do, it's around 10,000 souls with only 300 watts. And I did a live stream about it, we discussed things, and I also did a video where I talked about some of the tweets and all that that came out. Um, so I want to follow up on that because Bitcoin Z have actually been re responding to this and they're developing their own algorithm called Zhash. Um, and, you know, this is interesting because we've seen a lot of um, developers and, you know, coins coming out in the last week saying, we're going to look into this, we're going to develop something. Um, but this is the first time I've seen anyone actually come out and say, here, here's something we're working on. So I want to talk about that. Um, for those who don't know, this is Bitcoin Z. Go to btcz.rocks. Um, this is a very community friendly coin. I don't believe it had any ICO or anything like that. You know, it's just community driven. There's a lot of people that support this, uh, that support this coin. And the coin has been quite friendly to other coins. I've seen them helping out with code with other coins. So it's always good to see that. Um, they were one of the first to respond to the, the release of the, the Z9 Mini. You can see this tweet here. The Bitcoin Z team is aware of the recent Equihash ASIC development. It's currently working on a response. More of information will be released shortly regarding direction. Rest assured, Bitcoin Z will always be ASIC resistant. Now, this was obviously a very strong anti-ASIC miner response to that. But they posted this. This was 20 hours ago. So this was yesterday. We are pleased to announce Zhash, a new hashing algorithm designed with the goal of hardening the Equihash protocol to be more ASIC resistant. Find out more. Uh, about this effort on our GitHub page. So, this is what I'm talking about. This is what it's all about. This is Zhash. Uh, so, the, there's not much to it here as far as, you know, explaining what they're doing. Um, uh, I've got a part here that just says, Introducing Zhash, a new hashing algorithm with the goal of hardening the Equihash protocol to be more ASIC resistant. The, the Zhash algorithm works by increasing the hardware requirements of Equihash to make a development of, of an ASIC appliance less viable. The goal of Zhash is to put GPU mining on a level playing field with ASICs and FPGAs as far as hashing rates and costs are concerned so that they do not get too much of an advantage. In the coming days, we'll plan to release a patched Bitcoin C daemon that allows CPU mining of the new Zhash algorithm. Please note, however, that work has just begun. List of things that are still needed. Optimized GPU miner for the CUDA and AMD. Modified ZNOM to support the Zhash algorithm. Testers. So, you know, right away there's a few people that offered uh, support for this. Now, the thing that I really liked here, the thing that I really liked here, uh, is the fact that um, they want to put GPU mining on a level playing field with ASICs. That is something I fully, fully support. Um, because I think a lot of people are expecting something, you know, expecting something that cannot be used by any ASIC mining machine. They don't want ASIC miners to do anything. But what I would support is a level playing field. That means that, um, you know, I don't know how it would work, but with an algorithm, if someone, for example, spent $2,000 on a, a, an ASIC mining machine, like the Z9 Mini, and it gets 10,000 souls, Perhaps an algorithm would detect that the, the appliances mining is an ASIC miner and perhaps penalize it for it. So perhaps reduce the, the sol rate to perhaps 310 ATIs. So that from a price point of view, you know, people who have bought these ASIC mining machines can still get a return. They can still mine Equihash, but they're not going to get 15 times more than a 10 ATI. Um, and it, as I said, you know, the key thing here is that they say that it would give a level playing field. That is something I think um, a lot of people could get behind because, you know, ASIC miners um, are efficient. You can't hide the fact that these things are efficient. I suspect some people will be turning towards X16R and all that, you know, the Ravencoin algorithm that just is completely ASIC resistant and can't be used by an ASIC mining machine. But there are advantages to embracing people who have bought ASIC mining machines but simply reducing the effect that they've got, reducing the, the return. And I suspect if you did do that, ASIC miners would simply turn to another coin and not mine this particular coin. But at the very least, you wouldn't be ignoring them. You would be saying, listen, you can mine our coin if you want, but don't think you're going to have like a, a 10 or 20 times advantage over GPU miners. So it's early days with this, certainly early days. But Bitcoin Z or Bitcoin Z, however you want to pronounce it, they come out right away, right out the bat, and they said, you know, we always be ASIC resistant. They came out with a, a strong anti-ASIC um, 
resistant um, stance on Twitter. Now, ASIC resistant, this says all ASIC resistance, the, the headline here says ASIC resistance, but this is saying put it on a level playing field as, as far as hashing rates and that goes. So maybe I'm misinterpreting this, maybe they do want to be 100% ASIC resistant, whatever algorithm they use. Personally, I would support something that simply penalised someone who was using an ASIC mining machine to the to the point where, as I said, gave it a, uh, gave them a level playing field, so that someone with a, a, a an ASIC miner can accumulate the same amount of coins that someone with a GPU that's been supporting a coin for months, they can accumulate the same amount of coins in a couple of days, uh, simply because they've bought an ASIC mining machine. So. It's early days, guys. We've still got a lot to uh, a lot of um, time to go before we see what how this actually works. There's going to be a lot of testing, and we don't know at this point how other coins uh, are going to react to all this. Bitcoin Private and all these other coins have come out with stances saying that they want to be ASIC resistant. But these other coins, these other Equihash coins, they might get behind Zhash. They might support what Bitcoins are doing, or they might go in a completely different direction. Time will tell. I will do more videos about this because I think this is something that does concern a lot of people who watch my channel. It certainly concerns me because I've been mining a lot of Equihash coins. Um, but we'll see what happens. I'll leave a link to this uh, page into the Bitcoin Z website and all that and you can check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, please do leave your opinion on this matter down below in the comment area. And until next time, take care.